Tonight, a story you will see only on News 5. The grandmother of the man shot and killed by a Mobile County deputy today says her grandson needed mental help. She says her grandson, Bernie Wade Johnson Jr., would steal as a way to go to jail so he could have a place to sleep and try to get help. News 5's Dana Winter joins us now live from the Walmart in Sims where the shooting happened today. Dana, did she say what he struggled with specifically? Roseanne, she said his his whole family said that he had paranoid schizophrenia and they tried to get him help well before today when he came here to the Walmart. And now they hope that in the wake of their family tragedy, mental health gets some much needed help. I think he, the voice has got so many. I think he wanted that to happen. Witnesses say a man identified by family as Bernie Wade Johnson Jr. was walking out of Walmart with more than $1,000 of electronics. Associates tried stopping him, but witnesses say he grabbed a hammer placed just outside the store's entrance. But he would take things to get put in jail so he would have a place to stay. Not that his family deserted him. It was impossible to live with him. His grandmother, Rosalie Johnson, says she tried getting him help for his paranoid schizophrenia. I don't understand why they didn't do more for him. Three times they kept him a week and let him go. Give him medicine and let him go. The sheriff's office says when a deputy got there, he saw Bernie Wade Johnson Jr. going across the parking lot. Paul Birch with the sheriff's office says Johnson Jr. threatened the deputy. The deputy tried talking Johnson Jr. down, but instead, Johnson Jr. tried attacking the deputy with a claw hammer. The deputy shot Johnson Jr. once, killing him. There are a number of witnesses who heard the suspect loudly stating, you're going to kill me or I'm going to kill you, as he's advancing on the deputy with a raised claw hammer. So. I think he's just tired, and, and I'm going to miss him. I'm sorry. <laughs> But I'm going to miss him. Johnson Jr.'s grandma hopes bringing attention to her grandson's struggles gets lawmakers to address mental health. What's the government thinking? These are people, and they need help, and sometimes the family cannot help them. We reached out to Walmart. The company tells us no one in the store was hurt, and it's turning over surveillance video to the sheriff's office. And the sheriff's office tells News 5 because a deputy was involved, there will be an internal investigation. Reporting live tonight in SEMS, I'm Dana Winter for WKRG News 5.